this year's surprise, and this is it. Okay, here we go. It's a giveaway. It wasn't that corny. I'm sorry. That was, that was bad. to see you today. Thank you so much for coming back and seeing me and Desi. I hope you had a good week. I had such a good week. I had a very touching week. I met so many beautiful souls that touched my heart this week and I want to tell you about it. But right now I want to talk about our skincare products and layering. And you know, we work so hard, you know, to look our best and we spend money on our skincare products and you ask me every week, well, you know, what product do I use first or second or third? And so I thought, you know, I would go over that today, my you know, the order in which I use products at night and in the daytime. And you know, I'm not a professional, I'm not a dermatologist, but you know, I do have certain, you know, well, ideas of why I use a certain product when so I thought we'd go over that today you know I know some of you really love doing your nightly skincare routine and I know some of you absolutely hate it you know I get so tired at night lately that you know I had to start a couple hours before bedtime to you know start my routine but uh, you know I've kind of streamlined it I love the routine that I'm using and and you know it takes discipline you know anything that we really want in life if we want it bad enough we can get it and I think having you know younger looking skin or the best skin that we can we can have I think does take discipline and dedication but I think if you make your skincare routine something that you um, enjoy something that is fun something you know perhaps uh, you know a fragrance that you like to smell every evening or uh, you know or a treatment that is relaxing to you I just you know try to make it fun but I want to go through real quickly my my skincare routine at night and how I layer my products and the first thing you know I've cleaned my face and everything is just going spiffy and wonderful and I drag out my pixie milk mist and I love this and this is you know just a a nice sprints mm, that feels good this is just a nice beautiful smelling milky mist that plumps my face up with moisture and hyaluronic acid and I love it I love the way it feels and smells and it just it starts my my whole nighttime skincare routine on a happy note. The next thing that I use is I feel that my my face has been cleansed and I, I have my hyaluronic acid so so my my pores are kind of open and I feel my skin is at its most vulnerable so the product that I want to work the best uh, to go the deepest I'm gonna use next. A lot of you would be pulling out your Retin-A I have a little bit of trouble with Retin-A so I use retinol and I switch around um, my uh, favorite retinol products but I have been using uh, as of late my rock retinol. I can use quite a bit of rock retinol and I use it all over my face and I use it down my neck but this smells like 
citrus, lemon, rock retinol has kind of changed their formula. So I, I feel it really plumps me up. So after I use my retinol, and for you it would be your Retin-A, I like to tackle my eye area. And I am going to hit it with my two eye creams. Uh, I love my Even Naturals eye cream. I think this is an eye gel, and I think I've been talking about it for the last five years. But, uh, you know, it's cold, it's out of the refrigerator, and it's kind of a skin treatment. So, over my retinol, I feel very confident that I can put that around my eyes. And then I kind of just pat it all over my face because, well... I want to <laughs> and it has you know uh, Matrixel 3000 in it and cucumber and it's very soothing over my retinol and then I also hit my eye area with my um, Clinique eye cream after that I bring out the big guns so you know I just feel like I have a lot of great things on my face right now and they're all kind of working together so what I like to do is take one or two one or two drops of my rosehip seed oil and I kind of rub it into my hand and then I'm going to pat all over my face, down my neck, my hands, my elbows and you know what I really love to do with my rosehip seed oil and I know a lot of you do too is you just you love to take in the aroma of rosehip seed oil it's so soothing and so comforting and, and it just kind of reaffirms that you're doing something absolutely wonderful for your face. A lot of you who follow me know that for the last few months I've fallen in love with the Kate Summersville uh, night cream. This is her vitamin C and retinol cream. It's a very uh, stable form of vitamin C and there are all kinds of citrus extracts that are in this cream and I look forward to the beautiful scent, the texture and the results in the morning. It's so hydrating. Unfortunately this is $95 a jar so that's not really in my budget but I did find us a dupe and I am over the moon about it and this dupe is under ten dollars and I think of all the dupes I've brought you I think this one is probably the closest dupe so this cream that I have fallen in love with is made in Italy it's by Nutrici and it has collagen and a very stable form of vitamin C just like the Kate Summersville cream and also it has uh, argan oil and it's just chocked full of all kinds of fruit extracts which gives it that lemon scent that I look forward to at night so instead of having to pay a hundred dollars for a jar I, I, I pay eight, eight dollars so what I did is I bought the day cream so I could add it uh, to my foundation in the morning and I have this at night. totally changed my philosophy when it comes to skincare. I don't think for me personally that I want to be piling on a lot of heavy duty skincare in the morning because it conflicts with my foundation. I work, you know, kind of hard to, you know, look my best and then I've got the vitamin C and the tea tree serum going in the morning and that conflicts with my foundation. It makes my foundation oxidize sometimes. It makes my face a little bit tacky so my foundation doesn't dry correctly. And sometimes vitamin C serum will make my foundation ball up. Oh, isn't that, that's the worst. <laughs> the dreaded ball up. Anyway, so I kind of just gave all that up. I, I get right to the point in the morning and this is what I do. Before before I layer anything, I just wanted to mention that in the morning, depending on how much time I have, I love those L'Oreal sugar scrubs. L'Oreal has clay ones and cocoa ones and coffee ones. I use them all. 
I mix it up because I want my skincare to be fun, so I need a lot of variety. So I love using those scrubs in the morning before I get in the shower. The other thing I do once a week is a little homemade, sometimes I do it more than once a week, but I get up in the morning and I put on a nice layer of alpha hydroxy acid uh, cream that I get at Walgreens and I let that sit in for a few minutes and then I come in with some kind of oil, it doesn't matter, rosehip seed oil, carrot oil, who cares, and I tap in that oil, well, in about five minutes, I start just lightly rubbing my face and all this stuff comes off. You know, it's partly, you know, dead skin cells. I mean, dead skin cells are kind of microscopic, but it's just going to come off in sheets, just mixing alpha hydroxy with an oil. And the brightness that you have. Did I just make a harmonica sound with my lips? What's happening? <laughs> back on those plumping lipsticks. <laughs> anyway, after you do the, the homemade uh, gommage, you do look really bright. So it's kind of a fun trick. I mean, I mean, I know you can buy gommages, but it's kind of fun to make your own. So I may not use a lot of products in the daytime, but what I do use, they all have a certain job they do, and they do it really well. The first thing out of the shower that I, I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to use my milk mist that just plumps me up with hyaluronic acid. The second thing that I am going to do is I'm going to hit my eye creams, that ice cold uh, eye gel out of the refrigerator and my Clinique uh, eye gel. Next, I am going to go to a serum. The serum is the Revitalist, and this is uh, hyaluronic acid, and I love this serum for so many different reasons, but I put a good portion on my face and my neck in the morning. This helps me with hydration. It helps plump me up. Uh, this serum has a couple of muscle relaxants in it, and so it kind of works like a Geraline, only on steroids. The most important thing for me in the morning is I want my skin to be glowing underneath my makeup. I want my skin to look healthy, and the number one way I do that in the morning is by using rosehip seed oil. I only use one small drop. Again, I rub it in my hands, and then I press down my neck, all over my face, my hands, my elbows, taking the aroma that I love. And it just, you know, you're just, you almost just don't even need any makeup or a primer. It just, it feels so, it feels so hydrating. So I, I absolutely love it. After I use just a drop of rosehip seed oil in the morning, uh, I will let that sink in and then I will come in with my sunscreen and I just use the generic Walgreens sunscreen and it's very creamy and I will just kind of tap that in. Sometimes I mix my sunscreen uh, a little bit of it uh, with my moisturizer too. So I always try to use extra sunscreen. Three of you out there are going to win the nutri -C cream from Italy that is packed full of collagen and vitamin C and it smells like lemon so if you don't like lemon don't enter the contest but anyway in two weeks I will draw two winners and I will get your cream out to you I think you're really gonna like it all you have to do to win is below uh, leave a comment and in that comment I need you to tell me if you could see anybody in the world in concert living or dead <laughs> anyway if you could see anybody in concert who would that be? Would it be like Jimi Hendrix? Would it be Elton John? I mean, just who is your favorite person that you would want to see in person? So anyway, in two weeks, I will draw the winner and I will get your cream out to you. I wanted to share with you that last Saturday I went to a jazz festival in my city and I had the most wonderful time and it wasn't just because the music was great but my city came out I mean every age group 
every every walk of life uh, it was just su such an uh, amazing magical night of we all just got along we loved each other we loved the music we danced and it went on forever and it was so exciting and I felt so honored that I got to film uh, the people dancing and I, I think you can see in the footage you know some of the older ladies were just really getting down and and there was a man dancing with his wife and he only had one leg and that touched my heart to no end and when I was watching him I thought yeah I need to be more brave because when I was watching him I thought about what my grandpa always used to say to me he used to say it isn't enough just to want to live your life. You have to crave it. You have to crave living every day, not just for you, but for the people around you. So when I, I, I watched that man dance, he was so full of joy and energy. And I thought, he craves life. He just doesn't want to live his life. He craves it. He has passion. And it inspired me. Hey everybody, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I loved every second of it. So have yourself a wonderful brand new week. Don't forget to enter the contest below. And after you're done with your wonderful new week, you come back and see me and Desi, okay? Okay, it's a deal. <laughs> Look at how cute you are. <laughs>